Hey guys, I'm the Maha Mechanic and today I'm going to be explaining why you need to do an oil change on your electric car, like this Tesla here. So, let's get into it. Now, if you searched around the internet for videos on people changing oil in their Teslas, you might have found videos of people taking the oil out of the trunk and putting new oil back into the trunk as a joke. But you actually do need to replace your oil and I will be going over that in this video. So if you haven't yet seen the video where I go over what oil does for an internal combustion engine and why engines need oil, you can click right here and it will take you to that video. I will be repeating some of the things that I've said in that video in this video. So why do electric cars need oil? Well, whenever you get metal and metal contact in your engine, the components that are in contact with each other are gonna wear. I'm gonna use these two pieces of metal like I did in my other video as an example. If you put them together, start rubbing them, you hear all that noise, that's the metal wearing down. And over a long period of time or at high RPMs, that's gonna shred through material pretty fast. So if we put some oil on it, start rubbing it again, you can barely hear anything. And that is good. Now, like I just demonstrated, you can reduce this wear by putting a thin layer of oil as a lubricant between all of these metal components. Now, if you watched my last video, you might be wondering why you need to replace the oil that's in the electric motor, since there's no combustion byproducts like soot and acids that are contaminating the oil. Well, the intense pressure that the oil bears as it's squeezed between the moving parts of an electric motor can tear apart or shear its molecular structure, leading to viscosity loss. Now, this loss in viscosity just means the oil will start to thin out and provide less protection for those internal components. So to better understand this, we can look at a high viscosity liquid and a low viscosity liquid. What do they both have in common? They're both liquids, but one liquid has a higher resistance to flow than the other liquid. Now, why is this? Now, if we look at the molecular structure of let's say water versus honey, now water is a much smaller molecule and has less surface area. Now honey is a much bigger molecule and has more surface area. Honey is made up of fructose and glucose. Now these are hydrocarbon derivatives. If you know anything about hydrocarbons, it's that they are complex in their structures and they have a lot more atoms than water over here. So if we compare these two molecular structures, we can see that the high viscosity liquid has a lot more surface area than the low viscosity liquid. Now, the more surface area the molecule has, the more likely it would be to get stuck on each other as it's moving and trying to flow. This is why we have different viscosity liquids. Now back to oil. So as oil is being squeezed through these tiny gaps in the electric motor, it's tearing apart this molecular structure. And as we just learned, the less surface area means the less viscosity. So as the mo these molecules are ripping apart, there's less surface area, meaning less viscosity. However, this process happens fairly slow in your Tesla. Since the oil in the electric motor is only doing one job, and that's lubricating the internal components, it can last longer. Now you might also be asking, when do I need to replace the oil in my Tesla? And the answer is after about 100,000 miles. Now you won't have to do this. A Tesla service technician will come out and do this for you. But if you're gonna do it by yourself, an oil change on a Tesla is not much different as you may think from doing one on a regular internal combustion car. Basically, under all those plastic covers, because we know there are a lot of them, there's an electric motor with a drain plug and a fill plug. Now, even though you're not having to lower the car down to fill it back up, you're basically doing the same thing in a regular car, draining and filling. The main difference is you're using a different type of oil. Now, since it's not a combustion engine, there are no combustion byproducts like soot and acids. So the oil doesn't have to neutralize that. So it can just focus on its one job of lubricating the internal components. So in conclusion, yes, your oil does need to be changed in your electric car, but not as often as an internal combustion car. Now, if you found this video informative, please be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more. And remember, no matter your experience or your skill level, keep on improving.